Welcome back. Mad Dog and Merrill finally back here on Wisconsin oh, right. tonight. We had to take a little bit of a break because of Thursday night football, but you're yeah. back in action. It was a long walk, though. I'll tell you, it took us you know, almost <laughs> a month to get here. It did. Yeah. I know. I'm sorry, we missed you guys. Everybody we missed, missed you guys. You too. We missed so, everybody out there. So too. what do you have for us? You know, ham sandwiches are delicious. You yes. had a bunch of ham this this I holiday sure season. I sure did. I had so much left over. You know, and, and I'm gonna do shrimp, by the way. I'm gonna do shrimp. This is the best Ooh. shrimp in the world. Dell works. So just a regular Dell works compared to this stuff here. It's okay. wonderful stuff. But here's a, here's the easiest little sandwich bread in the world. And it's a little bit of mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. A little bit of our new dough works with yes. sweet pickle relish in it. And if it. you haven't tried that yet, I mean, you could seriously put this on everything. We oh. put this on everything at home. Yep, it's it's sour, sauerkraut onions and sweet pickle relish mm -hmm. with a tomato base in there. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to stir that around with the mayonnaise there. And all I'm going to simply do is add a little extra cayenne for a kick. Okay. Ooh. I like that. A little yeah, bit, right? Uh, just uh, a little yeah. bit. Boy, that'll be a kick. Yeah. Like it's going to wake you up. I mean, if you want to stay awake all night, this is it right here. A little less if you'd like. <laughs> and and honestly, cilantro. Honestly, 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 that's it right there, cilantro. Okay. And, and with the sweet pickle relish in there, with the with the mayonnaise in there, a little bit less cayenne than what mm -hmm. I added in, the, in that cilantro. It's but if phenomenal. you like it spicy, that's And that's okay. what I added to the, to the ham sandwiches mm -hmm. here with cheese, with a good rye bread, and it's wonderful. But a tequila... Sunrise! Without the tequila! <laughs> darn it's it, really darn a sun drop. It. Yeah, it is sun a sun drop. drop. It's sunrise. a sun drop. Because we're using sun drop, okay. all right? Very easy to do. Non alcoholic. I've got some oranges here. I'm going to use a little bit of just a little bit of squeeze of fresh orange mm -hmm. on the top of this. Obviously, add a little bit of orange juice on the bottom. Well, this, this is, is really good, refreshing. This is like a perfect brunch right here that you've got. Well, it is. Yes, it is, isn't it? Yeah. You know, you can even add the old champagne if you did want to go like Mimosas. a little bit of. Yeah, a little oh, non-alcoholic. Oh, nice. you're speaking my language. Right. There we go. We got the sun drop okay. on top here. So now all of a OJ sudden, sun all drop. All of a sudden, okay. the sun's going to rise here just a second. Perfect. Yep. We'll the let that sun right now. The sun's going <laughs> to rise. Yep, the sun's drop. Yep. Now the sun's going to rise in Wisconsin tonight. Yes, mm -hmm. here we go. A little cherry syrup. Cherry syrup, grenadine, anything yep, you have at home yep. you can put oh, in there, right? Yes. Look at that. That's you got beautiful. Her, you got gorgeous, Meryl. My goodness, make a and couple of And then you got to top it off with a little bit of a slice of orange at the top oh, there. Of course. Looks absolutely yeah. beautiful. I mean, this is a perfect that little there. spread to get rid of that leftover ham. Absolutely. Oh, right. yeah. We know everybody has it And you got tons of it, too, don't you? I mean, you buy a huge ham, you eat just a little bit of it because you have all those other sides and stuff. Exactly. So besides sandwiches, what else do you, I mean, what else can you use ham with for kind of leftover recipes? Oh, you can do little hors d'oeuvres. I, I always do like with little gherkin pickles and the hors d'oeuvres and the olives. And in and, 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 and years past, I've always made a beautiful Christmas tea with styrofoam and then oh. put parsley down. And right put, in the middle? Right yeah. in the middle Ooh. of the whole thing, and they put all those great little hors d'oeuvres. Oh, that's a good idea. That was my younger days when I had more ambition. Yeah, you know, when you get that much ambition, you know you how that works, don't you? I've been there. I've been that there. That sort of just slows down a little bit. Exactly. We're not We've as fast as we We've all been there, guys. I get it. Absolutely perfect. <laughs>